So I'm, I am kneeling on a block, drawing my spine up tall. I'm just gonna close my eyes for a few moments and ground. Bring one hand to the forehead and one hand to the back of the skull. And just place, keep the hands there and breathe. Let the shoulders relax down the body. Noticing if you're Attention is being drawn to one hemisphere or the other, left or right. And then take your hands and place them on the sides of the head so that the palms are covering the temples and your fingers are curling over the skull. Again, let the shoulders relax so the muscles of the neck can also relax. And then place the other hand on the front of the forehead and the other at the back of the head. So alternating which hand is in front. Release your head, take two fingers, your peace fingers on each hand and place them softly over closed eyelids. Gently encouraging, but gently being the operative word, the eyes to feel as though they're moving back into the sockets, as though the eyes were moving away from the fingers. I find here it's useful to think about yourself as the person having this done and the practitioner who's doing it. The practitioner is pressing lightly on the eyes, noticing any fluctuation. And the recipient is just allowing the eyes to ease back. If it's too hard to be both, be the recipient. One eye might be resisting more than the other. Just patiently observe. And then slide your fingers straight down from there. Go under the bottom of the collarbones and give it a good rub. Using both the same fingers. So you just went straight down from where you were and rub. Now open up your fingers um, so that they're vertically aligned and the top index finger is where you just were, middle and fourth finger and just tap. So they're directly down in straight lines on either side of the breastbone. So we are awakening the, we were awakening the anterior cingulate cortex, which is our willpower center in the brain. And these are the vitality, well, these are the end of the kidney meridian, which is our vitality life force meridian. 
So we're shining that up, getting our will woken up this morning, willpower. We also balance the fear centers of the brain and did a um, practice that helps with resilience and bringing the nervous system from where it may be chronically stuck and sympathetic into a place where it can downregulate into parasympathetic. We do want both. Maybe sympathetic gets a bad rap these days. We want both. And we want it to be able to move between those gears easily. Now bring your arms down and raise your arms up overhead. And fold your hands down to your heart. With our willpower centers charged and ready for practice, tune into the heart which holds your purpose here in this life. Plug into whatever the message of the heart is, even if you have your brain, your consciousness, there's no idea. Just bring your salience to the heart. Trust that these centers, we've awoken the anterior cingulate cortex and the kidney meridian are linking into the heart to get the job done. Bow the head humbly as you raise your thumbs and press into the third eye center, but just kind of right below there where your thumb knuckles are, just rub a little deeper Stimulating pituitary gland. And we'll leave one thumb there and we'll bring our index finger as we bring our chin up to neutral, our index finger underneath our chin. And both fingers are pulling, the finger under the chin is pressing up toward the roof of the mouth. And where the thumb knuckle is, it's grabbing the skin and pulling up just a little bit. So both the uh, direction is moving up through both fingers. We're at that sphenoid junction, which goes right into the pituitary gland. Okay. Lola's will is wide awake. And now we're gonna come on to all fours. So release your hands down. And meet me on all fours on your mat. I'll be right back in just a minute. And get comfy on all fours, kind of wiggle around all you need to. We'll do a couple cat cows, dropping the rib cage, lifting the chest up and chin up. So where we're just pressing, Add a little more stretch there. Feel the shoulder blades come together. As you exhale, round the tailbone, spread the back. Pull tummy in and up. A few of these, inhaling, dropping the ribs, lifting the chest and the chin. Exhaling to round. Move at your own breath speed. After your next cat, come neutral. Extend your right toes back and tuck your right toes under. You can move your left hand forward and come onto the fingertips or lift your left arm by your ear and raise your right leg up. Keep your neck long here. Pull your belly in and up and ribs in and up. And stay strong. Reach out in both directions. Bring your left hand back down, sweep your right leg out to the right. Both knees can be bent or the right leg can be straight um, or somewhere in the middle. 
push down through that right foot, and we're gonna take a twist. Take your left arm under you and come toward or on top of that left shoulder. Right hand moves forward, right elbow bent as you roll your heart toward the ceiling. Push down through the back of your left hand. Breathe into the flank of muscles, the strip of muscles on the left side of your spine. Push down through the right hand to raise yourself up. Bend your right knee and hip circle here with that right leg. Using the bend in the knee to help you rotate, go in both directions. You might want padding underneath that left knee. Come to neutral, come onto your fingertips, bend your right leg and step your right foot forward to the top of the mat. Come on up to your, to your lunge and you can leave your left toes tucked under or point them. Inhale, raise your arms up, let your hips sink forward and maybe look up. Right arm is gonna reach back behind you and grab hold of your left leg. Left arm comes up by your ear. Left hand comes down to the floor. Turn your right toes out. Let your hips deep in here. Bend your left knee. And again, that right arm comes up behind you. Grab hold of the left foot or just reach in that direction and rotate your heart once again up toward this. If you're holding your back foot, kick your foot into your hand. Swim your right arm overhead and I'll meet you back on all fours. Squeeze that right leg back and place your hands under your shoulders. Inhale, arching your back, dropping the ribs, lifting the chest. Exhale, nice deep round. Tuck the chin at the chest, tummy up. Inhale. And exhale. Finding your neutral spine. Tummy is in, ribs are in. Extend your left ball of the foot back. Right arm reaches forward, or you could be on your right fingertips. Right arm by the ear. Draw your left shoulder down and lift that left leg up. Pull the tummy in, just hold and extend here. Bring your right hand down. Swing your left leg out to the side. Both knees can be bent or you're working toward a straight left leg. Slide your right shoulder under for a twist. Push down to the back of the right hand. Move your left fingers forward. Bend your left elbow for a, a nice twist, rolling the heart up. Breathe into the right side of your back. Feel the muscles on the upper back. Engage gently as you push down through the floor. Firm your core, push down through your left hand. Coming up, bend the left knee and use that as the fulcrum to circle the hips. The left knee bends. And you're kind of like a spider. It's very spider movement spider-like movement and go the other way. Uh, 
and then swing your left foot forward to the top of the mat. Legs are on railroad tracks. Inhale, raise both arms up. I think I skipped this on the other side a little bit. Let's do it now. Take the hips back a little bit. Reach your right arm forward and your left arm back. We did it, but I just didn't hold this here. I just want to hold this here for a moment. And then reach that left hand down to the right leg, right arm up by the ear. So you can find breathing in this tight spot. Right hand comes down to the floor or maybe a block. Left arm's gonna sweep forward and swim all the way back. Bend the right knee, maybe just keep reaching back or perhaps hold that foot. Let's turn that left foot out a little bit. Roll the right chest up. If you're holding that back foot, kick the foot into the hand for more quad activation. Feel the back muscles squeeze the front chest open. And go ahead and let your hips sink deeply toward that left heel. Lift the chin, lift the face. Release that back foot, swim that left arm forward and come back to all fours. Placing hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, down. Inhale, arch. Toes are tucked. Send your hips high for down dog. Then left knee, press right heel down. Stretch out that leg. And switch. This is a nice long hold. Giving the back of the leg a chance. And then both heels reaching down to the floor. Maybe walk in a little bit so that you can bend the knees. Shift the sit bones back as you stretch the arms fully. And move the head around, encouraging the neck muscles to release. Remembering how the eyes move back toward the back of the socket and see if you can replicate that or, or do that here. Just imagining the eyes softening into the skull. And then walk your feet in little steps up to the hands. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, flush out. Flush out all the stress, all the emotions that are backed up in your body. Inhale, plugging into the ground to rise up, circle your arms, nice big arm circle, reach tall. Exhale, hands move to the center of the chest. They find their way home to that place in the center of the heart, holding your mission, holding the reason you're here. So every time we come here, you're tapping back into that. Even again, regardless if the brain has any idea, we recharge our batteries. Release the hands down, palms open. Inhale, big breath up, arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Step left and right foot to plank. Hold strongly here. Bend your elbows to come down, chaturanga, nice strong core. Inhale, roll your chest open, nice up dog. Hips are up and lifted, glutes are pressing forward. Exhale, roll over the toes, down dog. Ujjayi breathing, victorious breath, right in line with waking up our willpower in that interior cingulate cortex, in that kidney meridian, we are using our breath to stoke the furnace, to stoke the fires of our will, of our focus, our concentration. Our will is bit more effective when we are focused. When we're all over the place, it's a lot harder to get anything done. Inhale, raise your 
heels, bend your knees, walk or jump to your hands. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold and drop your head. Inhale, lift, circle to rise up. Heart lifts up. Exhale, hands go back to that battery station, hands at the center of the heart. Release the arms down, palms forward. Inhale, big sunrise up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the heart. Step right and left foot to plank. Nice chaturanga strength. Inhale, roll over the toes. Glutes pressing forward so your hip flexors stretch. Roll over the toes, down dog. With ujjayi, victorious breath. Pelvic floor is toned. Belly is toned, throat is slightly closed, stoking that heat, that internal flame. Helps digestion, elimination, all the functions of the body. Inhale, raise your heels, bend your knees, look forward, walk or jump. Inhale, pull the heart through, exhale, let go. Inhale, circle to rise. Exhale, fold the hands into the heart, recharging. Arms come down, palms forward. Sunrise the arms up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, look up. Exhale, left and right foot back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Strong toes. Exhale, downward dog. Bring your feet together and raise your right leg up. Step your right foot forward, warrior one. Again, feet are like on railroad tracks, parallel. Your back toes are turned slightly forward. See if you can push down through your left heel. Raise the arms up by the ears and lift the chest. Bring your left arm under your right arm and either give yourself a hug or eagle the arms, binding them here. Raise your elbows high. Chin goes up right where we pressed earlier. Breathe. Soften the ribs down, even as those elbows float up. Release the arms back to warrior one. Coming to standing split, this is where blocks are helpful. Hands come down, leg goes up, head drops heavily. Both knees can be bent or any combination of straight and bent legs. If you bent your top leg, see if you can lift the leg higher anyway. We're gonna curtsy here a little differently. You're gonna cross your left leg behind your right Tuck your left toes behind you or under, and you're going to rise to stand. Bend the knees like a standing curtsy as the arms go up. Shift your hips back and take the back of your left hand somewhere on your right leg. Raise your right arm up and twist to the right. Squeeze your hips and thighs together for balance. We're coming back to that standing split. Both hands down, left leg lifts up. Step your left foot back, same distance as warrior one, but we're coming up into reverse triangle. Flip your right palm up and lift your right arm to the sky, left hand down your back leg. Push down through the ball of the right foot and zip up the right knee. Up through that right hip flexor, press your glutes forward as you go back. Rise to neutral, turn your right toes to the left for standing wide forward bend. <coughs> Prasarita. Hands go to your hips, push your glutes forward, heart up, back bend here. Squeeze the elbows toward each other. Fold forward here. Over the legs, hands on on the floor or on blocks. Inhale, lift the heart, and then hang straight down. 
Maybe hands move back, so fingers and toes align. Squeeze elbows in. Knees can be bent if you like. Pull up on the arches of the feet. The insteps are, are squeezing up. So I'm squeezing my toes and lifting the skin of my insteps toward my ankles. Walk your hands to the right side of the mat. I'm sorry, to the right, ending up at the front of the mat. Step back, plank pose. Chaturanga, upward dog, downward dog. Feet come together, raise your left leg high. Step it to your thumbs, foot steps to thumb. Back heel turns inward, warrior one arms rise. Looking forward, wrap your right arm under your left, hug yourself here, eagle here, your choice. Elbows float up. If you've eagled ribs counterintuitively, you want them to soften down. So as you raise the heart, can you soften the ribs? Head goes back. Warrior one, release those arms back up. Two standing split, hands come in front of you, back leg raises. Rise up through that back leg. Both knees may be bent for any combination. Let that head hang. You can lift that right leg higher. Good. Curtsy that right leg behind, tucking the right toes, squeeze the thighs to stand with balance. Arms lift as you sink and let the hips go back a ways. Right hand comes down to the outside of that left leg. Left arm lifts into a twist. Nice. Good, Taylor. The other way. Um, Taylor, my left leg is forward. My right leg is back. My right hand is on my left shin. And my left arm is twisting open. There we go, and my butt is back. Both hands come down, standing split. Y'all, see if you can get into that booty. Karen, find that back leg and lift it. Good, step back with that right foot. Two straight legs, reverse triangle. Left palm flips up, stretch it back and push down on purpose through the ball of the left big toe. Zip up that knee. I want those knees stronger. Good, beautiful. Rise up, pivot your left foot to the right and place both hands on your hips as your feet are parallel. Face the staircase, Taylor. Inhale, lift your heart up, go back, back bend here. Taylor, face the stairs, both feet <laughs> And then hold forward, hands to the ground. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold and drop your head. Headstands are welcome. I had this wild, so many dreams last night, but one of them was this, a friend's father, like a, a sort of an amalgam of the boys I went to Hebrew school with. His dad, like you smushed all their dads together. He jumped out of a building like on purpose and landed in a headstand and it made this crazy pop, but he was like, oh, that feels so good, headstands. And I was like, oh my God, it's very odd. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> um, hips a little bit more forward, everybody. Um, Karen, raise your left, oh no, sorry, to your right, your right booty up just the tiniest bit, like from the right butt bone. Yes. Yes, yes. Elena, just let your head go. I know you're, all, all the stuff you're holding in there, just let it go for now. It's all gonna be right there. Just let it go, good. Good, everybody, see if you can let it go. Good, beautiful. 
walk your hands forward so that you end up at the front of the mat and your left foot will turn or your right foot, one of those feet, one in front, and then step back, plank. Thanks for making me laugh, Taylor. I didn't think I could laugh today. Low push up. Inhale, slide through, open your chest. I'm actually so grateful. Exhale, step back, uh, take it back down, dog. Shake out the head. Nice long arms. Breathe in deeply, open the mouth, let out stress, tension, feelings that might be stuck. Sharon, how have I known you all these years and had no idea that your hair is naturally curly underneath there? How? How? You have curly hair. Let it get wild. This is exciting. Inhale, raise your heels, bend your knees, and walk or jump forward. I guess that's on me. Inhale into your heart, my lack of observation. Exhale, fold forward, drop it in. Bend your knees, sit to chair, raise the arms up. Beautiful, beautiful. Go ahead and let that butt go back like a radish, like a happy little radish, like a round, delicious, nutritive radish. Good, and fold forward, let it go. Inhale, look up, step right and left foot back, plank. Low push up. Inhale to your upward facing you and smile the lips up and take it back, downward dog. In, bring your feet together and lift your right leg up. Step your right foot forward, spin your back heel down, warrior one, inhale. Beautiful. Wrap the left arm under the right, eagle the arms. To whatever extent that's possible, raise the elbows up and drop the head back. Uh -huh. And the counter force is dropping those ribs away from the elbows. Beautiful. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, standing split. Let that head drop. Top leg bent or straight, but raise it up high. Activate that left glute and really the right glute. Bending both knees, curtsy that left leg to the right and see if you can lift your torso up. Take your time. Excellent, excellent, I like it. Um, Y'all, good. Bring your, I'll go slowly, left hand outside your right leg, hip shift back, right arm twist to the, open to the sky. Yes. All still, 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 still. very good. Breathe. Open that middle back. It's a weird, hard area for me to get to. You guys are doing pretty great. Right hand comes down, both hands down, standing split. Love it. The heads are really down and I love it. Good. Step back to rise for a reverse triangle, same as before. Right palm turns upward and stretch back. Breathe here and Karen, I'm coming to your right leg and I'm grabbing at that upper thigh and I'm pulling up to your upper hip. Yes. And Sharon, I'm pushing down on that right big toe and saying sorry at the same time. Bring your right hand down to the outside of your right leg somewhere for a nice triangle or use a block and get that triangle on. Softening the ribs, using that middle upper back to help you find this twist. Right shoulder blade slides down so that you're really optimizing the muscles there and open the chest. Remember where we rubbed under the collarbones, move that space wider apart. Yas, look up. 
Elena, long, long neck, be a swan. There we go. Half moon, left hand to hip, look forward, take your block, bend the right knee and jettison up. Straighten one or both legs or any combination of that. And the left arm lifts, half moon, right foot forward, Taylor, left leg up, chest opening. Beautiful, everybody. Beautiful. Bend the right leg, step back gently to warrior two. Inhale here, cartwheel the hands down, plank. Low push up. Inhale, gliding through an up dog. Gorgeous, take it home, down dog. With feet together, pause, let the heels drop, strengthen and lengthen. Tune into your ujjayi breath, this victorious breath, charging the willpower, carrying forth the message of the heart. Left leg up. Really nice. Step it forward, pivot the back heel down, warrior one, arms up by the ears. Feel the power of this stance. See if you can push down into the right heel for even more. Mm -hmm. Eagle your arms with the right arm under, left arm over. To whatever extent that will happen, raise the elbows up, chest up, head back, but soften the ribs simultaneously. Really nice standing split. Mm. The head down, leg up. Curtsy, stepping that foot behind you. Tuck the toes, send the hips back a little bit. Rise. Yeah, squeeze your inner thighs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Right hand comes down to the left shin and that left arm opens you up to the left. And you find that tricky middle, th middle back, that thoracic spine. Mm -hmm. Squeeze those thighs. Yes, beautiful. Back to standing split. Step back. Triangle, reverse triangle. So back foot down, lift that left arm up. Reverse triangle, two straight legs. Left leg is forward. Elena, switch legs. Right leg is back, left arm is up, left arm is up, uh-huh, there we go. Doing great, everybody. Left hand comes down for a triangle now. So reach it forward, right arm up, open your chest. How about you squeeze those glutes for a little bit more zhuzh, a little more glute action for that second chakra willpower thing. Third chakra, just on display, open here. We open our chest. Mm -hmm. So our belly is really strong here. It's just on fire. It's, it's really fueling this pose in so many ways. And it's allowing our extremities to expand. And those collarbones right at that kidney 27 point opens. Yes, half moon. Make it light, bend that front knee, reach that left hand forward and catapult yourself forward. Turn that left foot just a slight bit left, Taylor. Little more, good, good. I see that foot is undergoing some something. And then flex your right toes. Yes, gorgeous, Karen. Everybody open that top arm up, up. Good. Step back safely, warrior two. Big, big step. Squeeze your core to rise. Core to rise. Check out your front knee alignment. Make sure it looks safe to you. Squeeze your hips. Beautiful. Okay. Cartwheel the hands. Plank it up. Plank, plank it up. Chaturanga. 
I like it. Good job. Inhale right over those toes. Open that chest. Beautiful down dog. Listen to the sound of your own breath. Stoking those fires. Letting the body get all warm. It opens up everything. And the poses that we really hate, even better, or that we dislike a little bit, even better because it that interior cingulate cortex, the way it gets stronger is by doing things it doesn't like to do. So that is our willpower center. And the way to strengthen it are these little micro sucks, like doing sucky things, but not too much of the sucky thing, like just a little bit of it. So it's good to throw in those yucky poses. I don't know if we've done any today, but if there are ones you hate, good. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees. Walk or jump forward to your hands. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, flush out. It's even good to go to annoying teachers because you get that, oh, but I mean, good annoying, you know, annoying teachers are good. Bend the knees, raise the arms up, sit into chair. Let that booty go back a little bit, y'all. Yes, yes, good, 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 good. And fold forward, release. Inhale, look up and jump back, low push-up. See if that rebound is good for you today. Inhale, claw your heart forward in this back bend. And child's pose here, um, but with the caveat, I want it to feel good. So modify it with, if you need to, with blankets um, for the knees or anything. Modify, modify, modify. Knees could be different, they could be wide or close. Arms are forward for the beginning of this, if that's okay with your neck and shoulders. And we're gonna hold here for a bit. So again, make sure you're safe, your knees are fine. Your feet are fine. Melting the armpits, melting the ribs. Where have feelings been stuffed inside? And you open the valve to release them. Emotions affect our, they affect our physiology, they affect our hormones, our neurotransmitters. They are really powerful. And um, big emotions, when they get stuck in the body, are just like anything else that gets stuck into the body. It leads, it creates a roadblock, which eventually leads to a problem. So when I'm unwinding something from long ago, more often not, than not, there's a big, it's like a hairball, right? It's like a rat's nest that's holding everything stuck, that's the emotion. So this daily cleaning, Elena used a great um, metaphor, plaque, like pl the emotional plaque that's just encrusted in our body. Can we chip away at that here? Using breath, using soften it, softening, and, and not our thinking brain, feeling into our body, where is it tight? Where is it stuck? Where is it injured? Is there a valve there? You can imagine opening and draining out the story, the emotion, whatever is there. It could be a virus, it could be a bacteria, but there's an emotion under that. Twisting here, weave your thread, your left arm under. And just a gentle twist. So thread the needle, that left arm under you, under the chest, and just see how you feel here. 
you want to change it in some way, you can. But um, observe more than do. So don't fidget. Once you get into the spot, observe. Yes, we're twisting for the top contour of the physical body, but I'm really having you twist so that you can ex get into a different aspect of muscle, nerve, tissue. Of course, so your dogs can jump on you because they love this pose. Uh, the diaphragm is usually a huge holding spot for emotions we don't want to deal with. That's where we, most of us stuff them. We stuff them in the hips, we stuff them but in the diaphragm. So that is being affected greatly by this twist. So hopefully we're wringing out some. Make your way back to center and in your own timing over to the other side. Lola, just let me know that uh, ancestors came in. I checked all of you, but it's actually me. Um, so hi, ancestors. Actually, now it's a party. Now it's all, it's everybody showing up. They're like, oh, we're welcome. <laughs> um, so you're getting loved. Karen, all good ones. Everybody, all good ones. Breathe into the diaphragm. I wonder if they're showing up because there's something about uh, the collective consciousness right now, The that whatever you guys have tapped into in these, in the, the last few moments um, has created a, a line, a invitation for your whole lineage to release something they've been holding. And that you also have been holding. Yep. Yep, that is the case. So whatever it is, you're 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 doing it for more than just you. Even our animals are um, are in this one. It's interesting. And then untwist slowly. And you're gonna make your way onto your back. And you're gonna come into a bridge. You may wanna go right into a supported bridge or you may be kind of craving a glute activation. It's It's an individual decision right now. Your back might be I can't say it might be tender or it might just, you might just need that power of the glutes. So you choose, but have a block present so that you can um, change it if you need to. Taylor, is this New York? I mean, is this, is this your house? I'm obsessed with this floor. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's pretty. Okay, we'll talk, but that floor is gorgeous. You guys, it's so pretty. <laughs> um, regardless of your choice, so whether or not you chose block or no block, I want you to talk to your big toes. So each of you has a big toe story. Um, they're all kind of the same, very similar big toe stories, the three of you. So talk to the floor with your toe. And again, that micro suck is what <laughs> builds our willpower. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to face my toe. Great. Face the toe. Won't be long. It, it won't suck for too long. And then relax it and just trust that some weight is going into that part of the foot. If you've chosen glute activation or you wanna to move to that, find a place, a level of your hips where you can pulse your butt 10 times and feel like um, it's getting stronger, but you're not 
causing yourself any pain. So give yourself 10 glute pulses. Charge those butt muscles. And then squeeze both butts, both glutes. Relax your shoulders. And then relax your butt back onto the block or go for the block. So put the block under you if you have one and stretch your legs all the way out. Um, Taylor, if, you're, if you don't have a block, you could do a back bend instead, a, a full back bend with hands and stuff, full wheel or bridge again or whatever you think feels right. If you're working on a block, press your shoulders down. Right, because it's easy to cheat the shoulders. So press the shoulders down, open the chest, those collarbones widening. I'll tell you what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about that inner line of the leg. Now, I just know from being in a million rooms, not everyone has this issue, but a lot of us do, where the inner thigh, inner line, that medial line from the, the innermost line of the leg kind of curls up instead of lengthen. So we want to lengthen that toward the big toe and actually draw the pinky side, pinky toe side up. So we're lengthening inner line, shortening outer line of the legs. And if it sucks, great, 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 great. <laughs> You're welcome. And then bend one knee and the other knee, so feet are flat back to that bridge shape. Remove the block. Hold steadily here, and I want you to pull your heels toward your glutes so you're charging the back legs, that posterior line. Widen your shoulders and come down nice and slowly, one vertebra at a time. When we get to the bottom, bring the feet together, soles of the feet together, knees apart, Supta Baddha Konasana. Uh, get your feet nice and smushed together. So you really feel the soles of the feet. Raise your knees up about somewhere between an inch and inch and a half. There'll be a spot where your knees start to shake your inner, you start to sort of flap like a butterfly uncontrollably at the legs. Um, so the legs start to bounce, bounce is a good word, up and down. This doesn't always happen. I guess I've done so much of this that mine pretty much does always happen. I know where to look, where, where to look. There's like a weird spot about it, somewhere between an inch and an inch and a half up from your comfort zone. So that will allow the bounce to happen. When it happens, just let it go wild as much as you can stand. Um, this reset, this is a massive reset for the psoas, um, which are huge trauma holding center, um, tissues, huge. Uh, and then of course the vagus nerve is really affected by this, the diaphragm. So all the centers where we really, really hold trauma, like big time, uh, get released through this. So it, it can be life altering, like life altering. So if you're not bouncing, um, just invite this idea in and it, it will come. Maybe not today, but it, at some point when you're not expecting it, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, there it is. Anxious, you just may not be ready. Your body may know it's not the day to unlock all your trauma. You know, there may be a lot of reasons why it's not a good idea at all. Um, eventually, let it come to a stop if you're moving. And then let's stretch the legs out. Come on.
cradle your head in your hands really well, like you're preparing for the solar eclipse. And guide your head in one direction, like I'm pulling on my hands, my right ear toward my right shoulder, and then the opposite. Really make it satisfying for you. Center your head when you're ready. As you start to lower it, make sure you push pretty firmly into the base of the skull with your fingers, right at the neckline, hairline area. Give it a lot of pressure. These are, you can't go wrong here. These are all really vital, important active points um, that do different things, of course. Bring your thumb to the bone behind your ears, and I want you to just push pretty firmly down and ride that bone like a um, like a water slide down to your neck. Yeah, so take those thumbs right behind the ears and glide them down like, find the divots right there behind that when you almost down to the neck and massage in there. Yeah, it's, it's a really big release valve there. And then glide your shoulder blades onto your back, roll your limbs, legs and arms in and out until you're just a floppy gumby gelatin jello version of you. Take a huge healing breath into the body and let the emotions ride out on that exhale. Two more like that. Breathe in deeply, pulling up anything stuck that you can find, anything hiding in the cupboards. And exhale, just let it wash out of you. Again, deep breath in. And exhale. The eyes are closed and the bones are releasing into the earth. At the top of class, we woke up our centers of our willpower, the ante anterior cingulate cortex, the kidney meridian, those vitality points. We opened our window of tolerance, which helps the transition between sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system be smooth and easy. And now we let that go. Right before we began our flow, we tapped into the heart. Now we trust that mission of the heart, that soul mission. As we step back and let go of our will, our willpower, our doing self, we surrender to being, to being with what is, being here, being still. And allow God, allow God to come through.
Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. Breathe in deeply. Use the exhale to explore, perhaps stretching, perhaps releasing another layer. When you feel ready, roll to one side and cuddle up. And when you feel ready, push down into the earth to rise and find a seat. Find a seat held in your physical body that is strong and powerful. Let's bring our hand once again to the front and the back of our skull. Here we soothe our limbic brain, our reactive brain with our prefrontal cortex. We let this smart, logical brain soothe our very reactive brain. Bring the hands to the sides of the head again, folding the temples. The lower hands are the amygdala buttons. It's not the amygdala themselves, but it's a button that travels back into the amygdala. And so here we bring calm again to the reactive center of our brain so that our body can heal and change so that we have the neuroplasticity to grow and the powerful stem cells to stay young. Bring the palms to the heart. Wedge your thumb in there. And know that the thumb is reaching inward, gain, getting, gathering that message of the heart. And that the pinky fingers are reaching out to the world, sending that message out. One them together, please. Inhale. Oh. See you next week.